Senator Gary Hart. I'm a Democrat and proud of it, but I'm also a Westerner and fiercely independent. The Washington insiders and special interests have handpicked their candidate for president. But I offer our party and our country a choice. This election is about the failure of the past and the promise of the future. It's about what's good for all Americans, not for a privileged few. Make your vote Tuesday a declaration of independence. Give America a fresh start. Political experts said my campaign of new ideas couldn't win in New Hampshire, but we did, and the debate about America's future continues. Gary Hart. Now they say Southerners aren't ready for new ideas. I don't agree. I believe the South, more than any other section of the nation, understands breaking the chains of the past and moving into the future. Hope for America's future. The South can once more change the course of history by voting for new leadership, new ideas, and a fresh start for America. When President Reagan sent our troops to Central America, he called them advisors. Remember Vietnam? Our troops now serve as bodyguards to dictators and are a slow-burning fuse to war. Vice President Mondale agrees with President Reagan and said he too would leave some of the troops there as bargaining chips with Nicaragua. And he attacks Gary Hart for forcefully saying, get them out. Our sons as bargaining chips. Will we never learn? Gary Hart, new courageous leadership. Senator Gary Hart. Once more, New Yorkers have an opportunity to decide the political fate of the Democratic Party and our nation. You must decide between America's political past or the promise of the future. You must decide between a government bound by old alliances, old promises, and failed institutions, or a government returned without strings to the people. This election is a choice between the national interest and the political establishment. My candidacy represents change and the rebirth of idealism and hope. Remember the past, double-digit inflation, 20% interest rates, F-15 sold to Arab states. Think about the present, $200 billion deficits, Marines killed in Lebanon, a runaway nuclear arms race, troops in Central America. When you vote Tuesday, think about the future. I offer specific ideas, new approaches to restructure this nation's economy, to offer opportunity to people who've not had opportunity. As a party, we must change or we will not lead. Let's give America a fresh start. Some leadership differences. Gary Hart demanded our troops be saved from their bunkers in Lebanon. Vice President Mondale was silent until the polls changed. Gary Hart demands withdrawal of our troops from Central America, where they serve as a slow-burning fuse to war. Vice President Mondale says before he withdraws troops, he would do a little negotiating with Nicaragua. He wants young Americans once again to be used as bargaining chips. Gary Hart, courageous leadership when it counts. The special interests are fighting Gary Hart because this is the prize. When they carve it up, when the PACs, the lobbyists, and the boys in the back room get what they want, what will be left for you? Who pays the bill for all of those political promises? You do. Walter Mondale has bargained away his ability to say no this year or the next. Gary Hart has had the courage to say no to the special interests. That's leadership. Gary Hart, a new leader for America. This is what the presidential primary in Illinois is really all about. Eddie Vidoliak has decided Walter Mondale will be your candidate for president. Gary Hart and a lot of people who think for themselves stand in the way. This election is a choice between the past and the future, between special interests and new directions, between bosses and a new generation of leadership. It's your choice, and America watches. Let the future begin here. Walter Mondale has said he won't take money from special interest group political action committees. That's what Gary Hart says, too. That's what they say. But the Wall Street Journal reports the Mondale campaign has been fueled by hundreds of thousands of dollars of special interest money using campaign law loopholes. And Gary Hart? Like he said, he hasn't taken one penny. So the question is, can a president act in our national interests? 
when he owes so much to the special interests? We don't think so.